Hi, this is PC Roger. Welcome to this short video about upgrading a desktop PC to an SSD or solid state drive from a traditional hard drive. The reason we're doing this is to make it a lot faster in the way it performs. Now we have this machine and it's just a little bit older, a couple of three years maybe old, and it came with a serial ATA drive. We have enough RAM in it, it has two gigabytes, and we're going to be running Windows 7. Now it is important to remember that with an SSD, you do need to have the trim command support, which is available in Windows 7, but not Windows XP. Now there are some drives that come with special tools for garbage collection, as they call it, on an SSD for Windows XP, but your standard SSD does not have that. So it is important on a machine that's gonna be used a lot to have the uh, Windows 7 or in some way trim support so that you can keep the machine running at the speed that it's uh, accustomed to, what, what you're accustomed to, and what you're expecting it to because it will degrade in speed over time if you do not have that support. So what we've got here is a Kingston SSD Now drive. And this is actually an upgrade kit, it costs just a couple dollars more, and what you get is In addition to the drive, which is really the same size as a, a laptop netbook, two and a half inch uh, uh, serial ATA drive that you might be accustomed to, you also get a little power adapter if your power supply does not have the newer, uh, the newer end on it, and also a data cable, which uh, you may or may not have, but probably do. And then also some drive brackets to help this uh, two and a half inch drive fit into the three and a half inch drive slot that you're able to find on your desktop PC. Now in addition to that, we get some software that's going to do the job of cloning the old hard drive to the new hard drive and make it uh, rather trouble free. So what we have to do is just connect in the SSD as a secondary hard drive on the machine and we have this side panel off for doing that. And once we do that, the software will clone the old drive to the new drive, making it pretty painless to upgrade to the SSD. Okay, now here we do have the SSD installed as a second drive, and, and I've uh, pressed on this machine the F8 key when booting to get this uh, boot uh, selection menu. And we have the CD that came with this Kingston SSD now in the CD drive. So what we want to do is we want to boot from the CD drive. And as you can see, what they've done here is given us a uh, copy of, of a limited edition of the Acronis True Image software. And this is going to do the cloning work for us. Now, since the SSD drive is really just a, a, a memory chip, it doesn't have any moving parts, it's very light. And our goal is to have the machine not only boot faster, which is one thing we will test but also to run faster for a lot of high intensity applications, whether it be gaming or graphics or whatever it is, so you're not sitting around waiting for your PC as much. Now that you can see on the screen, the option that we want to take is the clone disk option. And we'll follow the wizard here and see what it does for us. Now when you have a bare drive, automatic should work. And here you can see what the drive is going to look like after the cloning process is done. Now since the new SSD drive is a little bit smaller than the old hard drive, the Acronis software is just going to adjust accordingly and everything will be uh, pretty much in proportion to what it was if you have you know, multiple partitions. And you can adjust that if you like, but, uh, but we just want to have a, a straight cloning here. Here's the review screen and it shows us what it's going to do. And because it's Windows 7, there are two partitions, a, uh, a system reserved uh, partition and then the standard, uh, what we would call the C drive partition, I guess. My apologies for this uh, screen capture. It's, uh, since it's booting from the CD, I don't really have the ability to, do, to use uh, my standard screen capture software. So I've got a video camera on the screen and you see kind of some you know, lines going down and things like that. But uh, the one thing hopefully you can uh, discern here from what you are seeing is that this is going to be a pretty quick process. Uh, the SSD drives are not terribly large unless you buy a real expensive one. And what I have found is that uh, if you just buy, a, in this case, a 64 gig drive and use that for installing Windows and your programs and such, your machine is going to have great performance. You're not going to spend a lot of money. And then any large data files can go either on maybe your old hard drive or a second larger hard drive in the machine. Or my preference is really to use a server of some kind like a NAS device, a network attached storage device, 
It actually has redundant drives in it. And then you can also make those files available to any PC in your home or office. Well, I didn't actually put a clock on it, but it was probably somewhere in the three minute range. And here you have a, a little uh, information screen to tell you that it was successful. And also some other information that you probably, uh, probably should read your first time through. And we should be finished. I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut down the computer. And I'm going to disconnect the old hard drive and just have it boot from the SSD and see what happens. Well, there it is. We're pretty much finished. Uh, we'll clean up to do here with the drives, but uh, we powered down the computer and disconnected the old hard drive and connected the new SSD to the primary uh, serial ATA cable inside the machine, fired it up with a stopwatch, and what we found is not only did it work, uh, the machine did boot Windows 7 as we expected, but the time to boot decreased from 44 seconds down to 32 seconds. So we pretty much lopped off about 25% on boot time. But that's not where you're going to see the best of the performance increase on an SSD. It's going to be in your day-to-day -day applications when you've got a lot of windows open and ordinarily you think, what in the world is this machine doing? And you look down at your PC and that hard drive light is just on solid. With an SSD, you're not going to see near as much of that. You're not going to have to worry about uh, as much heat. There are no, no moving parts. The SSD will wear out in time, but it's a lot of time. And you will enjoy that time a lot better having that in your machine. One note that I do want to make is that we do remove power from the machine completely when adding or removing a hard drive. Just as a precaution, it's uh, good to do any time you uh, really take the cover off a PC. So we've done that. All we have to do is uh, put the side cover back on and this machine is completely upgraded. But we're going to have a lot faster machine. The person who gets this one is going to be real glad there's an SSD instead of a standard hard drive. That's it for this video. At our website, we've got some information that will help you make an upgrade to an SSD and get a lot more performance, more life out of your PC, and be a lot happier while you're using it.